All right, welcome back guys. And anybody that's new here, thanks for joining me today. Uh, this is number two. If you guys are seeing this, it's because I stayed out uh, till dark and I caught some more fish. So the upside is, you already know, we caught some fish today. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a fish trying to eat my minnow on my tip up over there, my iFish Pro. Tried for it three or four times. Probably would have got him if I would have just cut the tail completely off. I thought I got rid of most of the tail, but apparently it wasn't enough. A couple big fish below me. Come a couple more. That's what I was hoping they were. Nice beefy crappies. Hopefully, there's a couple more down there. I barely got that guy. This guy's getting turned into dinner. Apparently I didn't have my phone on, or my... Apparently the GoPro was off. This guy came way up high. I thought he was a little guy. The mark turned bigger. <laughs> That's a nice seed. Nice eight incher. I'm keeping dinner today, so this one's going in the box. Got a big one. Here comes another one. There's actually a school of them down there. Here comes another one. That feels like a good one. Yep. Oh, these are the seeds I love to catch. Eight inches, four inches tall. I really need to go chop the tail off of that minnow. I've had, I've watched probably five or six fish come in to go after it, and uh. Every time he shoots up and does like a loop because I ha I only have like a four inch gap between him and the sinker. So it's not like he can go very far. It's just they're not they're not attacking him fast enough and he's able to get away. Oh, I got one coming over here. Missed the hooks out on this last time. Let's see if I can get them this time. Okay, I'm not seeing much come through this area, so I'm going to get outside. I drilled a couple extra holes. Um, I'm going to go hole hop around with this giant thing. <laughs> um, there are still fish coming in by my tip-up, so not in, like, no man's land. There's still fish around. And I did disable the minnow, so he can't get away, but uh, they kind of seem to come up and look at him and then just stare. So I'm not sure if they're just not turned on yet, or if I have the wrong bait out. But we'll figure it out. Time to hole hop. Okay, guys. So the last thing you guys saw was me out on the ice, and uh, yeah, that was a little while ago. <laughs> well, at least a couple days ago. Um, and obviously, if you're not new here, I'm in a trailer. Uh, I wanted to just do a little update for you guys that are new here. I'll put the video at the end of this one. I uh, I built a trailer out, built this cabinet and everything like that. Um, it's my enclosed trailer 
that I have my machine in. Right now my three-wheeler's in it. I put my snowmobile in here and stuff like that. Um, but uh, those of you guys that aren't new here, you guys know uh, we talked last, and you guys gave me a bunch of really good ideas. Um, so I'll show you a little bit closer, but there's one and two of them. Uh, those are little 12 volt fans. And then um, I'll just bring you guys over here real quick. I just wanted to give you guys an update um, since the fishing wasn't as spectacular as it should have been. Um, so like I said, these are little 12 volt fans. Um, was it AC Infinity is the brand. I'll link them in the description below if you guys want to pick some up. They're kind of nice. Uh, so they actually have a speed indicator. It's really hard to see in here because it's so dark, but um, you have off, low, medium, and high, which is really cool. Um, and then these ones actually have this little piggyback. So this is actually a female version of the thing. And you guys, might see something different here if you're not new here. These are two wired 12 volt outlets. There, well, there, now you can see it. So there's two USB port outlets uh, and I can, and then these have, there's a little screen here on both of them. They have a little voltmeter. So I'm actually gonna stick a battery box behind this and I have a bunch of deep volt or deep cycle batteries that I use for my boat usually. Um, and I'll probably pick up another like just dedicated one, like a group 31 or something like that. Comment below what you guys know for the best um, deep cycle battery for like RVs and stuff like that. Um, I have a couple in mind also, like I said, uh, I was actually thinking of looking at some lithium stuff. Any lithium people out there, let me know what you guys think about any of the new batteries, but yeah, so the coolest thing is, is these fans, give me a second here. So these fans, I'm kind of in the light here, slide right in here. So I'll take it out. But I, I made these little boxes and that's a vent right there. So I made these little boxes so my fan fits in there and then I can just plug it into one of those guys. Um, somebody was saying like they wouldn't, they weren't sure about like how I was gonna run that one and then i also made a little spot for the other one that's sitting in this netting right now uh down over there so the coolest thing is is i what i did is i took took these little rubber feet there was four of them these are for like cooling like your uh, entertainment centers and stuff like that but uh there was four or eight sets of rubber feet so there were some on the other side of this um and i just took them off of the opposite sides so this one I had so it pulls air in down there this one I made it so that it blows air out so venting the hot air out and, and you know ex getting an exchange flow through here somebody was saying they were like well they would have had it the other way around uh, in the old vi other video the one I'll link at the end of this one and I was just like well it's pretty simple if I need to do it that way I can take that fan stick it in there, take that fan, stick it in there. That way, that one's blowing out, this one's pulling air in. It's that simple. So, made it very simple. I have power now. Uh, I, I, I did it this way so that I can stick my phone in here. I can just plug it in, stick my phone in here. Um, anything else, I can put a tablet in there, whatever. Um, I was trying to think of a way to put like a capacitor and all that stuff in here. Uh, those of you guys don't know, you need to like, I think you need a capacitor and something else in order to run 12 volt to 24 volt or uh, 12 volt to 120, whatever it is for running your computer, um, which is what I wanted to do so that I could just like, you know, put this down and camp out for a week at a time on uh, editing videos for you guys. Um, though you, those of you guys that are new here, I've filmed over 500 videos so far. I plan on filming 500 more or longer, thousands more if I can. Uh, once I can afford to, I might get somebody who films these for me. But uh, the biggest thing is editing. Editing takes so much time. Um, but like I said, I was editing the the last outing video, and I just wanted to kind of give you guys an update on what I was doing with this. Um, like I said, if you guys haven't seen this video or the video about the trailer, uh, I still have to, just so you guys know, I still have to insulate the, the roof here. Um, so that's coming soon. I have to get the right amount of insulation, and it has to be warm enough that I can put this together without having it get all wet and messed up because it's kind of in between seasons right now but uh 
yeah, comment below what you guys are looking for and uh, looking forward to seeing. Um, I have some camping ideas, but I plan on staying in here, like I said, for long periods of time. So that's why I'm kind of like making it creature comfort. Um, the coolest part is, is when this and this are out of here, I'm thinking about getting a kayak. And if I can get a kayak that's good enough, I'll be able to literally keep my kayak in here, sleep in here, and I could kayak and explore and do all that stuff forever. So if you guys want to see kayak exploring videos, you guys comment below and I'll find a way to get a kayak. Um, I don't currently have any. I just have my small boat that goes everywhere. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's little mix up. I just wanted to update you guys. Like I said, if you guys are new here, subscribe. You guys are going to want to see some future videos. If you haven't seen any other ones, there's 515 of them or something like that. Go check them out. If you aren't new here, hit that like button. We're going to do some exploring this year.